understand the difference between yourself and other people because you know we often think that the reason that we don't share the same viewpoint is because we have differences of opinion but it actually goes a lot deeper than that because your very perceptions are dependent on the variability in your personality and so it isn't only that people differ in their opinions they differ very much in how they see the world how they actually perceive the world because your personality constitutes a kind of template or filter through which you organize your perceptions. And so it's very important to understand that there is substantial personality variability in the world and that you're often talking with people who see things differently than you. And a good example of that is the um, divide between, let's say, left-leaning people and right-leaning people because the left-leaning people tend to be very high in openness to experience and relatively low in conscientiousness, especially in the aspect of orderliness, whereas the conservative types tend to be very high in conscientiousness, especially orderliness, and relatively low in openness. And so those are fundamentally different orientations in the world, and you could say that the more conservative types, the more right-wing types, are much more concerned with the preservation of tradition and tend to believe that things that have been done the tried and true manner in the past are the most reliable. Whereas the people who are on the left, who are more radical, are more concerned with the fact that the environment shifts radically and rapidly and unpredictably and so we have to be willing to shift with it. And so those are both valid viewpoints because every element of lived experience has an orderly element and a chaotic element, let's say, and you have to be prepared for both. And the purpose of straightforward political dialogue between people of different personality types is to help determine on an ongoing basis how much we should be relying on tradition and how much we should be attempting to transform ourselves. And there's no permanent solution to that problem because things stay the same and change, and they do that at different rates at different times. So dialogue is unbelievably important, which by the way is why I'm such an advocate, let's say, for free speech, because it's the mechanism that keeps people of different types speaking instead of fighting. So it's really important.